Hello, it is a, is it Wednesday? It is Wednesday. It feels, feels like a Monday. It's Friday. <laughs> it feels like Monday. <laughs> it's Friday. It's a weekend. It's almost here and I am ready. Are you guys ready? I've been, I'm a little bit tired. I didn't sleep as much as I needed to. So we're going to see how far we can. I want you, my moderators, if you start really seeing my energy and chat energy, like, dive, let me know. Because we might do a short stream today. I'm feeling really good right this minute. Feeling good this minute. We're going to try to deconstruct Saz and Lee's 
bug fairy paint scheme and I'm gonna try to recreate it on my bug fairy that I bought from him so let me say hello to everybody in chat notice I don't have my mic I have my headset mic on that's because last time I forgot to replug in my mic also there's not going to be a silent auction today I think I'm gonna push it to next Friday because I need more time to photograph and get everything ready on the on the on the web page so we will we're close we're close to being able to have the we are gonna have a silent auction or a blind auction but just not today anyway all right let me go back to we get to say hi to rumble hello Stephen may texas butler 61 benjamin's prime mouser schmool hello hello and it looks like our staff is here awesome excellent yeah it's a do-over day isn't it <laughs> friday start again <laughs> all right so let's let's just jump into this we're gonna so the bug fairy let me before we jump into this we're gonna talk about this bug fairy is a garage kit i did not paint my last garage kit on stream for you because i'd never done it and I wanted, I really wanted a chance to kind of get to know what it's like, get my feel for the paint scheme, everything like that. And I learned a lot of things on the Mantis that I got from Saz and Lee that I'm going to show you today. And so, can you see this? This is the Bug Fairy. Let me see if I can, it's a, there we go. The Bug Fairy kit is from a sculptor in China. Aw, Carlos, thank you so much for that host. Good to see you here. You can find, um, by the way, if you do get notice three, get notice three, you'll get the link to Saz and Lee's Instagram. So Electric Eve was the one who told me where I could buy this. And she hooked me up with a, like a go-between kind of a broker because Sazen is in China, so I'm guessing he can't use Facebook. So this guy who I knew, he was on Facebook. Contact us, there was, there was go-between stuff. So, but he helped me order it. So, what happened? There we go, get notice two. Sorry, get notice two. Um, so I can't promise that I can give you a link of where to get this if you end up really liking it. But you can go to the Instagram, maybe find out more on that. There's the link right there. And that's the that's the color scheme I'm basically going to pick. Wheeler dealering. Yeah, something something like that. It's a garage kit. So they, they do things. Let's look at this kit. So this is... See, and they, these things are big. So I may actually raise up my... Yeah, we're going to do that. I'm going to fix. Can you guys see the detail pretty well? Should I need to adjust the focus? It looks like it already is in a good place. Okay, don't mind my messy desk here. What you never see is that this whole edge of this desk is full of paints. <laughs> All right, and I bought some Turbo Dork. Although... I don't know if I'm going to use Turbo Dork or not because I really, really, really like the Monument Metallics for this. So we may end up switching things around. But I bought I bought Turbo Dork. Um, this is Forest Flux. It has a green, I think it has a green shade to it. It's got a green and pink shade to it. I don't want to put that on my glove. Hold on, let's see if I can show it to you on my paper towel. There we go, we'll just put a little bit. See, it's got a, it's a color shifting paint that shifts green and pink. And I don't know if, I'm, I don't think I'm gonna use it. I don't think so. I think I'm gonna find other, other ways of, uh, about, I've got some other sh color, like um, shaded metallics that I could use. I do have this one. This one is nice. It's called Mother Load. And it is a, a metallic white shifting paint, but it has a little color in it that's just kind of a pearlized. And can you even see it? You, oh, this is not cool. So you, there, you can see there's a little shifting blue and pink 
in it. Maybe I'll put a little bit of my glove so it will show up better. Does that show better? It's a little green on my glove. That. So anyway, it looks like it draws. Aw, Rumble, thank you so much for tipping. Yay. Tree Fitty. $23. We're getting closer and closer to our goal to get metal music, which is eight day oh eight days to go. We only have eight days to go. So thank you, thank you, thank you. If everybody just gave like a couple dollars, we'd get our goal. Everybody. Not that I expect it, but let's see. We gotta do some math here. 327. 327 plus 23 that gets us to that's a 10 and that's 50 ah tree fitty you were right tree fitty so we're very close we only need 50 dollars to get to our goal guys 50 dollars and then we will get our new metal music yeah i like writing numbers too let me switch this i can adjust this right now so we all see the beautiful round number can I, can I, yes, there we go. Okay, give me one second and go, boom. I like to, I don't know why, I know, I appreciate it. Metal music donation uh, drive. There we go. And then we have, we need $50. Well, wait, so, so for, the total goal is 400 and we need, we have a starting of 350 now. Yay. Okay, there we go. Boom. We are almost there. We need $50 left to get the goal. Date to class. That's okay, Ravage. How are you doing? By the way, right before the stream, I went ahead and put all my little limbs of the bug fairy onto, onto lovely dowel rods. Let's see? And let's see. I'm going to open this box up. There's her base right there. And there she is. She actually sits down in this part of the <gasps> Mauser Schmuel thank you eleven dollars now it's now it's not even anymore though <laughs> I like how you did that so now we have 361 hi fear the prodigy how are you someone has to fix it okay let's let me adjust this again. We're getting so close. <laughs> Boop. Music. Donation drive. And then we're so close. What do we need? We need 40. Somebody help me with the math. Forty-one dollars. Is that right? Is that what we need? I can't math. Sixty-one. Thirty-nine. Thank you, Ravash. <laughs> I I need that extra math brain. Um. Okay. So we're almost there. And then so we now have three sixty-one. Let date ten slash thirty-one slash. Boop. There we go. Woohoo! Thank you guys. Let's do some hype. Hype and chat. That is so cool. We're getting really close. So, let me write down my subscribers here just in case anybody subscribes today. There we go. Hi, Laminus. You delicious bugger. <laughs> I love it. Delicious bugger. <laughs> He's a diamond geezer. Okay, let's... I need to prime. Because clearly this isn't primed. Now, 
I'm trying to remember. I don't think I primed at all on my resin. I don't think I primed at all on my mantis because I wanted the translucent effect. He's my nami nom. <laughs> you guys are so funny. Hi, Pantateca. Hello. <laughs> There's the moonus. Blarg. Okay, so let's... Huh, you know what I'm going to do? Instead of priming with primer, maybe I should... No, I was thinking of priming with matte varnish. I'm changing my mind. I'm going to prime with white. Mm, ah, I need to look at I need to look at the uh, the artwork again maybe not oh no yeah he painted with white what happened luminous $40 we did it wait now we're $1 over but that's okay we made our goal <laughs> yay I'm gonna put that in there hold on Yay! Hey, hey, we get our music. I'm so excited. So I know it's been produced. It's or rain. How's it work? It's been chor not choreograph. What's the music version of choreograph where you compose? He's got it all composed. He just hasn't um, finished anything and 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 produced it. Uh, One dollar. For extra crick of extra crickets for the gecko. I love it. Metal music donation drive. Okay. I don't know if you guys know this, but every fifty dollars is another metal song. So if we want to go over that, I'm leaving this up just in case we want a few more songs. We're going to get six songs, but in case you want more, I'm going to leave this up. So we got 401 and an end date. We still have until October 31st, 2020. There we go. Woohoo! I love it. <laughs> There we go. Where well, we made our goal. All the metal. All the hype. You can never seem to do work on the car without cutting yourself. Oh no. Alright, let's shake this really good. White needs extra shaking. Death to all but metal. By the way, guys, did you guys see my finished um, photographs of what's his name? Lionel Johnson? posted them recently all right we're gonna airbrush some primers hold on a second I need to make sure this needle comes back out Ooh, it's a little stuck oh geez this is all my lion looks epic thank you okay I don't know if I'm gonna be able to get this out again oh let's try a plier oh that might help to un yeah okay so it's just it was just tightened too much. That's all. Okay, we're ready. This is metal right now. Our Japanese metal. Okay. And, as always, I'm going to put a little thinner in the cup. Okay. And I'm going to put my mask on because we're priming. Pain meds, muxillar axers, your recliner for the afternoon. Watch your stream. Yay! Always metal. All right, give me one second. I gotta take this microphone off. Hopefully, I'm not too muffled. Let me see if I can get picked up. I can have, yeah, you can hear me. It's a little bit muffled. But my, my lungs are protected. That's the important part. Clunk, clank. Sorry, sorry. <laughs> sorry, sorry. If you're wearing headset, a headset, I'm really sorry. Okay. We're going to add a little white into the puppy cup. 
and my blister. Make sure that that thinner has got that all nice. Now, you don't need to do a lot of thinner with Stano Rails. They recommend you don't. I do because I just want it to flow through my airbrush a little better than, you know, I'm Darth Shoshi. I am Darth Shoshi. The only thing I think I'm really going to paint that, we're going to paint the whole thing white. Okay, hopefully this won't be too boring for you all. And it looks like it's coming out of the airbrush nice and smooth. And I'm not doing a ton of primer. I'm just getting kind of a soft base coat. Get the move. See, that's looking pretty good so far. And I have some foam. I'm just going to go ahead and spread it because it'll be okay. Need a subtitle while she's speaking mask. I am sorry. Can, does that make the better at all if I put the mic a little closer? With the airbrush and all the extra noise, it's probably difficult. We'll get through this timing as fast as I can. what you're doing, yeah. <laughs> That's true. Okay, beautiful. Because it's so big, it's really easy to find quickly. Because you can just kind of turn on, oh, not totally, you see, see, I got a little extra primer there. I can probably wipe that while it's still dry, still wet. Oops, see it's spidering on me a little bit. I need to slow down. And what I mean by that is just go slower, do little short spurts, let that dry, then come back. Okay, I'm going to set that down. That one's the most... I'm going to use this, um, this as my holder for now. Why not leave her just on there? Because she's going to stay on there anyway. So cool. This model. Oh no! Do you guys see that? That's the paint. There's too much thinner in the paint. So I'm just going to carefully work that away before it starts to dry and get a skin on it. And now I'm going to slow down. What I should have done, I did not wash my resin. That show she's. Wash your resin, get the mold release off. But if you go slow enough and you do like short spritz, it should, should be better. I am your master by Shoshi. <laughs> to answer your previous question, yeah, you can paint over top coats. You can, so I can, so you can use it as primer. Yeah, exactly. Maybe a little bit too much on her chin. Mm -hmm. It's very kind of HR Giga. Giga. top of her head. This is 
going to be such a beautiful model. I can already tell. I mean, the sculpt is just so gorgeous. Okay, I'm going to go ahead spray the wood. You know what? Hmm, I'm debating on if I want some dark shadows in the wood. I'm just going to leave it. I'm just going to make it all white. Let's see. Sitting down here. Oh, I forgot I got another hand over there. Now, white primer will give it a softer effect. You guys saw when I painted my um, Oktoberfest Aya, she came out very soft. Someone even commented on my Instagram about about this, and it's because of the white primer. It's like it absorbs it almost like a shock. It absorbs paint. Okay. So like we're getting somewhere in here. Giving her face another coat because I want a really smooth layer. There we go. That's better. Can you guys see? This is perfect. Set this down. It's just gonna be on the edge of my step there. Let's get this on. See, after doing all that big stuff, I need to slow down again. Get this. Let's see if I can just blast it with a little air. We're going to do one more coat just to make sure here. Oh, it's smooth. Okay, that's pretty perfect right there. Oh, has everybody got any plans for the weekend? What's going on with you guys? It is, what is it, middle October? It's October 23rd. And I'm noticing that the seasons are definitely changing a lot faster now. Has anybody else been noticing? Going over to Mike Disney. Oh, that's awesome. Tell him I said hi. I was just hanging out on my Disney Discord not too long ago. Okay. That's awesome. I'm sure that real quick. I just realized I, I missed the entire back of this leg. How could I do that? Okay. Alright, that is completed though. Yeah, that does sound like fun. 
He was actually really bomb Lamunis when I told him that we were in the pier. Because he's like, oh man, I would have risked it for, you know, that's not that far. So he was bummed that we were in the pier and that he didn't get a chance to go with us. <laughs> I didn't no, I didn't know. I didn't I didn't think she was his wife, but I was like confused. Cause I didn't know if I, it sounded like he was living with her. I don't know, it was confusing. <laughs> I didn't wanna I guess I assumed too much, right? Okay. This is dry. Now I can get the end of this. <laughs> oh, she kind of is? She tells Mike what to do, Twitch guys. Okay. That's so funny, though, isn't it? Twitch guys. I need a Twitch wife. I need someone to tell me what to do sometimes. Alright, there we go. I think we're good. We all know that wouldn't really work out, would it? I'm, I'm way too bossy and independent-minded. Mike doesn't even tell me what to do. I'm like, you're not the boss of me! <laughs> oh, that's nice. Tells him to take medications. That's good. Alright, I'm gonna pull back the last tiny bit of that. There's not, not much. That's okay. Now, there's some other pieces I want to point out in here. I'm not ready to put them on. She's got a couple wings. A couple wings. And then she has this like cone head thing that's clear. But I'm, I'm going to leave that for later. Because I figure we're just working on a few things. So we're not going to try to paint the whole thing. Well, we might. We actually might. I painted that mantle so fast. I really literally took me. Oh, no. Oh, shit. Oh, my God. I cussed on screen. <laughs> I just dropped my airbrush. Um, whatchamacallit. The, uh, I dropped my airbrush. And then I dropped the the um dump pot all over my lap <laughs> luckily it missed me but it got my chair run run i know <laughs> ruh -ruh. let me just get this off the floor i don't want to electrocute myself when i try to airbrush okay there we go that wasn't too bad oh that wasn't too bad at all Probably most of it landed on the, the center of my chair, which is not too bad either, because I can wipe most of that up. Oi, they! Schmutz! Schmutz everywhere, guys! And thankfully, I wasn't wearing my schmutz apron, or I would have gotten it all over my schmutz apron. Okay, we're ready. Right. <laughs> Where to put my thumb pot? Hold on. Oh, there it is. Okay. I'm gonna use it to clean my airbrush out now. Man down, I know, right? Okay. Spray food cleaner. Which I need to buy some more. That's a nice brush, I don't wanna use that. Oh, you can't even see what I'm doing. There we go. That's better. <laughs> so I'm trying to think of what our plans are this weekend. We're getting together with Mike's folks. Tomorrow we're going to have some barbecue. Illinois barbecue though. 
so we'll see. <laughs> and let me go see this. This dusty paint in here. I think I can scrape it off with my brush here. Maybe. Yeah, hang on. I may, I may have to put a little, I have a little alcohol that'll get it right off. Oh yeah. So I think being in this bottle, sometimes the alcohol disappears a little bit. That, that, ooh, that melted it. My gosh. So, yeah, that's 90% uh, alcohol. 91% alcohol just melted it. Good. Good, good, good. Okay. Fix the needle. I'm going to put a little bit of alcohol in here. And then run it through with the damp pot. Okay. That seems pretty clear. All right. Ready to paint. And that first thing I'm going to do, though, before we paint, is I'm going to move some things out of the way so they don't get I'm gonna start with her she is, she's gonna she's gonna be the hardest thing okay all right let's take let's take a look at paint let's take a look at saws and leaves um I'm gonna bring this up on screen for you guys to see can I get it bigger? Can I get it bigger? Maybe not. Okay, so this is Saws and Lee's. Um, okay, let me get to it. Ooh, there's a little ladybug in my, there's a ladybug in my studio. Oh, interesting. All right, hi. <laughs> Dar Shoshi. Um, I still need my airbrush, so I'm gonna keep my mask on. Hello, our that side. How's it going? Okay, let's do this here. There we go. Can you guys see it? There we go. Look at this. So there are multiple colors that are happening here. And that is the trick. So we have to break down the order that we're going to paint these colors on. And I'm thinking... The first color needs to be a soft pink, kind of like what I did with the um, with the mantis. Can you guys see? I don't. Let me let me see if I can bring this closer. Hold on. Let's try this. Is it gonna work? Nope. I can't. Nope. It's not letting me bring it. Let me see if I can do a. A zoom on this on the thing here. Okay, you can see the pink in the shadows, but that some of that. Okay, there we go. There's a little zoom. Yeah, I'm thinking actually maybe even more of a darker pink possibly. Well. So hard to say. Hmm. So when I when I go through my process, when it mouse control mouse control wheel up. Let's try that. Nope. Wait. Control. Oh, control mouse and up. Oh, here we go. Boom. Oh yeah, that's much better, sort of. Can I do this? Alright, 
that helps me a lot. It does appear. It's hard to say. Oh, it's so hard to say. There's a, it looks like he used the translucent resin on this. I don't, I don't have the translucent resin figure, so... Alright, that's enough for that. That's, I think I have a, a good enough idea that we can go forward. Thanks for the tip, though, for massing. Alright, so... I want to give it a translucent effect, though, and I can do that, I'm thinking. Maybe I will use this turbo door as an undercar. You know what, I'm gonna, I'm gonna go for it. I'm gonna go for it and be, and be bold. So this tur Turbo Dark is a pinkish color, but it's also got the pearl eyes already. I guess we can just test it on the, on the paper and see what happens. Because when you atomize a color shifting paint, it changes a little bit. Okay, so I'm gonna put a little thinner, thinner, chicken dinner. Shake, shake, shake. A little bit of this in there. Oh, it's so pretty. This, this may be the right color after all. Usually my instincts are good. And... Alright, and I need a stirring brush. That's why acrylic that's why you acrylic you acrylic poured it. Yeah. Alright. See, it already changed with just the thinner a little bit, but it does have that. It still works. Let's try it. Okay. Ah! Mmm, scared. I'm gonna put some on the paper first. Yeah, it's pretty thin. See how it's spidering a lot? Um, I'm gonna dump it. I'm going to dump it so there's not so much thinner, and I'm just going to add the turbo dark on its own and see if the little bit of thinner in there is enough. So when something is too thin, that will make it spider. It's spidering a lot. Okay, so this means I need to... Let's try to adjust the side here, PSI. Hi, Tolt's Transistor. How are you? There we go. Now we're getting somewhere. Oop, that's a big blob. Okay, we'll just we'll just go with this and see what happens. I'm really in pigments. This is called uh, color shifting. It's from Turbo Dark. Oh, I already love it. It's not going to show up great on camera. I might have to turn the lights down a little bit for you to see some of this. Yeah, I love it. Ooh, ooh, too much. You know what? Maybe not. You know what? That's just about perfect. I just have to be careful. Can you see how it's spidering a little bit on her, on her breast? I need to get that, spreader that out so that I can go back over that. Supports are so much fun. Is that what you're working on? Are you working on a 3D printed? Yeah, you, you are, aren't you? Is it coming out? There we go. There we go. The brush is making me pull, pull the trigger side of it. It's very pretty. Can you see how pearly it is? Okay, now whatever was blocking it seems to have 
gone away. It is a gorgeous color. So just so you have a reference, it's called Forest Flux. Forest Flux from Turbo Dark. Yeah, it does need several layers, but I'm also being very um, tentative with it because I don't want, I'm trying to control it. So that's why it needs several layers because I'm being very soft with it. I want, I've not used it before, and I want to make sure to get it right. But I love it. Okay. I'm going to be careful around the face. I'm going to mostly focus on the shadows in the face. And see if I can... Not get too much on. And that's oh, come on. With my wet brush, I just can adjust a little bit here. You would, it would be different on a glot. Yeah, it would be very, very different. Would be. Okay, there we go, that's nice and soft. Man, I'm really glad I primed it first. Oh, I got a little clog. Hang on. Hi, Double Fruity. How are you? Is there a sale update? Pooch just put in an update and there's a butcher bus. That looks amazing. Is it, wait, is the sale up yet? Nope, just a Kickstarter update. No sale, thank God. <laughs> Maharoon! How are you? Guys, somebody give Maharoon a shout out. I'm not able to at the second. I'm in the midst. Raid! Bay Ray! Oh my gosh, we got two raids. Thank you so much, Maha and Bay Ray. How are you guys doing? I got a clog. A little, oh, you know what? I don't have a clog. I just have no paint. How is it going? Maha chan. Okay. We're using Turbo Dork. So far, it's turning out amazing. How was your stream, Maha? We are painting the Bug Fairy um, kit. Now, I'm, I'm doing quite a bit darker on the back. And the reason why is I want that deep color in the shadows of her head. Okay, I'm going to turn this around this way. Love you, Maha. You don't love airbrushing sounds. Oh, I totally understand. I'm sorry. <laughs> Completely understand. We are airbrushing a lot today. And I just ran out of paint again. Let's add a little bit more here. It seems so far to be formulated pretty well for uh, airbrush. Oh, if I can get, maybe not. Maybe a little tiny little thing that needs to go in there. Yay! 
Hi. Catagator. Catagator, I love it. Welcome. Hi, Original Sin. Yay! Warlock, 4326. Welcome. Okay. Back to this arm now, now that I got some paint on in the brush. Remember, we're going to go over this with our white metallic. And we're going to hope that it looks good. Isn't that pretty? That's an awful Okay. I'm going to hang these over the box so they don't get any damage on me. And I'm fully aware that my paint job might end up completely different than solving these because of the way I'm painting this. You weren't paying attention? I'm using color shift? Yes, from from uh, Turbo Dork right now. Turbo Dork is um, a color shifting paint. This one shifts pink and green. It's got a slight, if you look at the, the model, it's got a slight green shimmer although it looks more gold on her so that's totally fine she's a bug so that green will be to our advantage later on when we add more actual green okay here's our leg What do I think about them? Um, so far I like them. They, go, they really do go through an airbrush pretty nice. That's for sure. That's what I need. Uh oh, right now we got thinner. Thinner competing with our turbo dog. We might need to add some more. Oh, that's a good blob. Might need to work it. See how this is coating completely differently than the last one? There we go. Yeah, I'm going to wipe that off because I'm scared that's going to dry all smooth. See? I have a wet brush. I'm just going to get those spiders. Okay. What do you think about them based on uh, what you've seen? Let's add a little bit more turbo dirt. Let's dump this. When in doubt, dump it. Add some more actual paint. See if I can dry this with my brush here. I'm hearing something. The water's coming through. There we go. Alright, let's try this again. So much water. Okay, there we go. Much better. That's why I like airbrushes because if you mess up, it's usually thin enough you can still cover it and it's nice and thin, so. Let me see what we got. We're getting some condensation. Hold on. Let me try and see what happens if I release some of the water there. 
There we go. Uh oh, I just sat it down in the water. No! I'm gonna let this dry. I feel like I might have had a, a chance of messing that up. I'm gonna set that right there. Let's see if we can get this one. There we go. Beautiful, beautiful. Perfect. Okay, that iron is perfect. That's why you stopped using a compressor. What are you using, Arlenis? What's what's what are you using instead of a compressor? That was the good leg. This is the bad leg. Let's see. There we go. We're getting it. Still wet. Oh, CO2 tank? Is it expensive? How's that working out for you? I'm just wiping off the excess water. Also, where do you buy CO2 tanks? Okay, see this little not smooth area right there? Okay. That's good enough. We're going to be covering this with several layers, so that is fine with me. Alright, let's go ahead and spray this through. I think that Purple Dork does seem to go through the airbrush well enough, especially when it's thinned. Here's my dump pot. Okay, go first. You can get them from any, from a welding supply. Oh, okay. I want to point out, can you see the little flecks of glitter and, and mica inside my brush there? That's not optimal, but we do what we can. So yeah, I think it's looking like the Turbo Dark's clean out of the airbrush pretty nice. It's, it's Seems like it's coming out pretty easily. I always worry a little bit when I'm using um, a metallic in an airbrush that it's going to jack it up with all the. Look, look, see, and look at that. I want to show you that. Can you see that little clump? Did I get it out? I don't think I got it out. Let's dump it. Yeah. Okay. Make sure you pull the needle and wipe it down. Definitely, definitely. Hello, cook the thief, cook the chef. How are you? Wiping down the needle now. Cook that, cook, cook the chef. Are you who I think you are? There is a person I know who is thinking about streaming on, uh, who is a chef. <laughs> Kevin Kitsune, how are you? Anyway, if, if Cook the Chef, if you're somebody who I know basically way back from the past, let me know. If not, <laughs> that's okay. Alright, so I got all that out. Now. This is the trickiest part where we're going to start adding this green color. Hold on, I need to look at this bug for me. <sighs> okay. 
this is where we need to go a pig. Nope, that's another chef, but we're all in same seasons life. <laughs> yeah. I have this color. It's pretty bright, so I'm going to add a little ivory to it. Or maybe, actually, no. Now I need to, hmm. Now I need to do the ivory. Ooh, this is so hard. Yeah, we're going to do ivory. We're going to do really, we're going to do ivory. And I'm going to put, maybe, a, well, let's just do a plane and see what happens. Okay, let's put a teeny bit of thinner in there. That's, that's probably too much. Dump it out. out. Okay. Stir it. Mm -hmm. Alright. I need to look through my um, photos here. I got a nice big picture. Mm. Yep, it looks like it looks like ivory over the pink, and then and then we'll do green, and then blue is the last, and then there's other colors. Okay, so this is this is what we'll do. Oh, this is tough. Okay, always test. Oh, see how much that's biting? Oh my god! Why? Maybe the needle is not set. All the way in. No. It's got dinner. Let's just blow this through some. Okay. Nope. Stir it some. There we go. You want that soft, soft thing. Okay, now I'm going to hold it like this. And then you'll see what I'm doing. Okay. Spray it down to the top of her head. There we go. Yes, yes, yes. See how that is bringing in that softness? Coming out, kind of. Okay. There we go. There we go. You're doing well despite snowing outside. And a winter storm morning. Oh my gosh, are you in Canada right now? Where are you, Kevin, if you don't mind me asking, like, what country? Wait, is it fall so weird? He just wants to be winter. Notice the direction that I am painting. It leaves, leaves that secondary color as a shadow. See? Not pretty. Now on this part, I'm going to go the opposite way. I don't look so skeleton. Okay. Not quite. Okay. 
Okay, and I'm gonna go on, see there's a, like a, a ridge? I'm gonna hit that a little farther. Ooh, this is tough right here. I'm gonna have to do it on the side because I can't quite get underneath. There we go. You're in eastern Washington? Okay, that makes sense. They have not so much sun in, in November, right? Okay, that's gorgeous. What do you guys think so far? It's interesting, isn't it? The process. Alright, let's do the legs. Ooh, he's moving around. There we go. Oh. a little bit of that shimmer still comes through, especially if we paint thin. Notice where I'm leaving that with pink is specifically on, is that, oh, I'm out of paint. <laughs> I'm leaving that shimmer in the knees specifically because that's where some of her shadow gets to stay. Okay. Down that shin bone. And I'm smoothing out some of the mistakes that I made with the first color as well. These arms are about perfect though. Hmm. Get the hand. Trying to hit the highlights of the main areas like these ridges on the sides of her arms. There we go. It softens it. It's blowing like crazy in Seattle and temperatures dropped a bit, but no snow. Hmm. You guys are getting hit and it's not even November. Yeah, October snowstorms. Oh, you know what? I remember. No, that was DC. I'm thinking of something else. My my mom and dad went to uh, Washington DC once when I was a kid, and they got trapped in a big blizzard. It was pretty big. All right, that is so good. Get the back of that. I'm leaving that sparkle on her toes a little bit more. I just noticed something I want to get. Filters out a little bit. So keen. Ah. I'm putting a lot more of this ivory on her. Um, oh, it really happened on the underside of her arm there. Like, hold on. That's interesting. What is that? Oh, that's the side of the box. Oh, no. There's some fibers from the side of the box. Oh, I leaned this again. Let's see if I can get those off. Okay, I got, I got them off enough. Hopefully, that will not show up. Mauser Schmuel, if you are in Seattle, have you ever had the chance to visit Bruce Lee's grave? I got to go. When I was in Seattle, I got to visit, and it was amazing. Alright, there we go. There's the first two pieces. 
now we're gonna do the um this is the metallic metal we're gonna do that over here hold on before actually before i do that i wanna i wanna look what place in seattle um bruce lee's grave that's where i went when i was in seattle i went to visit bruce lee and and brandon lee's graves they're they're in the cemetery in seattle And also, if you go, there's a botanical garden that's not too far that's just absolutely gorgeous. Oh, you've been there? Wow. Looks so cool. Okay, let me go look at this picture here. Okay, so green is next. I'm going to mix green with this, actually. Let's try, let's try to do it on the palette. I'm going to try to make a magic mix here. I don't know how this is going to work. Yay! There's our metallic metal. Hello, we got a new follower. GBH, how do I say your name? GBH or GB High? Is that how I say it? How do you want me to say it? Welcome. Used to live right next to that park and cemetery on Capitol Hill. Oh, wow, that's really cool. All right, here's the green. Let me get this off. Oh. There. I need new, new uh, toppers. Okay. This is my hope, is that we're going to make the metallic green with this. Mix these two colors together. Okay. Yeah, it seems to be perfect. That's absolutely perfect. I'm gonna mix. Yeah, that's perfect. Okay, I can put that in the airbrush. I need to rinse this out. Mm. I, Seattle was, oh, I fell in love with Seattle. The only problem with Seattle for me, like I could go there in the summer and be absolutely great, but they don't have enough sunlight. Not enough sunlight for me to survive. Because I'm I'm solar powered. <laughs> but it was like living, it was like, I can't even imagine living in Seattle be like living in a town full of full of gamers. It's amazing. Alright, since this is ivory, it doesn't have to be completely cleaned out. The main thing is that I want this metallic in here. There we go, and we're gonna put a little bit more. Yep, you get series dark December through yeah, I wouldn't be able to deal with that. Amy, hi, how are you? Let's add a little green. A little metallic. Oh, that would have been too much green. Oh, it's perfect. So one of the wonderful things about metallic medium is you can pretty much make your own metallics with it. Now, I don't want to add too much thinners. All right, see how it's spidering all over the place? I might have to add some airbrush medium, if anything. We just had a... Eliog, is that how I say your name? How are you? Welcome. All right, hopefully I can get this to come out without spidering. See, the, the cream is still coming out. Let's do this. There, now the green is coming. Alright, I'm gonna look at my look at my example here. This looks like the, it's definitely on her legs. And it's not green enough. What happens if I add a tiny bit of transparent green? 
for this mix. I'm going to do it on my palette here. Just a little pigment. That's really, really green. That might be better though. I'm adding, I'm just going to, uh, there we go. That seems better. It's a little bit more blue. Okay, let's try that through the little brush. Ooh, that's nice. Okay. Uh, so pretty. Yes. I'm being very careful. I want this to be a really nice layer. Beautiful. Oh, I love it. And it looks like it goes down her this leg a little bit. On the top. On the top of that ankle a little bit. Perfect. I might be running out of color. There we go. Oh, that is beautiful. It looks just like how I want. And it does have a shimmer to it, guys. You can't see it. If, if I put... Yeah, that's perfect. Holy crap. Mm. Okay. Beautiful, beautiful. Okay. Slowly but surely, we're gonna make this. We're gonna make this light. gets trickier because I have to flip it in this right way. There we go. Hmm. I'm running out of paint. No, I have to mix it again. All right, so we've got our shimmer. Shimmer and our green. Yep, that seems good. And a tiny bit of transparent green to so jazz jazz it up a lot. Transparent green. Okay. Okay. Let me see what you guys are saying in the chat. None of the Instagrams are working. They aren't working. Do we have time? Can we see Peppercorn? Yes, we can see Peppercorn. Any of the ones in the profile from show she bought? Oh, okay. Maybe it's your ISP going directly to Instagram. So let me try to give you the direct link and see if that works better. Hold on. Touch, copy. Try this link because maybe it's the bit where it's bothering. Rumble said it works okay. It's not going to work because I'll paste. I'll paste. There we go. Try the direct link there. Maybe that'll work. Back of the leg. Mm. Okay, that's so pretty. 
can definitely see the shimmer more when I make it a little bit more opaque. It looks better. I'm going to dump your Venus cash and see if that works. Okay. Oops, I need to look at the, look at the model. Yeah, it's definitely on the top of her arm. Are good now. Let's do her body. This is the tricky part I'm scared of. Okay, this definitely goes on the sides of her. And on her back, I'll do it on her back. Look at this way. her is more white so I'm gonna leave that alone get the top of her head There's a metallic blue, which we're gonna with the spray tooth cleaner, we're gonna clean this out. Can you guys see how this is ooh, starting to look? Ah, I'm dumping everything on my lap. Not a good look, souls. <laughs> okay, got most of that out of the pot here. Using so many paper towels, I guess. All right, there's a little bit of green in there, but we're gonna get the metallic blue now. And I think I'm gonna just forgo the paint now. I'm gonna use metallic, metallic paint, and then transparent. Use transparent blue. Let's see. Let's go back to chat. Okay. Did it work for you? Did you get a chance? Blue does, yeah. All right, let's let's see what happens. We do the transparent metallic. So let's just, that's the green. I don't want green. I want the blue. I just want a little bit of blue. Okay, that this is so so um. Concentrated. We just need a little bleed. Yes. Okay. All right. We'll put this in the airbrush tub. It's a nice pastel blue. I need just a tiny, tiny bit more blue to it. Mm, yes. Very good. Perfect. That is perfect. 
So we just made a pearl blue with the bright metallic and the transparent. And you have to blow through all that air and thin air out. And then, there we go. Oh, what's happening? Okay, I think that's working. Let me look at my example. I'm going to start with his head. Because that gets a little bit in the front. Just a little bit there. Yeah. It's so pretty. And then it goes up the side of the head on those ridges. shoulder and then on our um, hips here a little bit. Okay, so that's that's all in the body. And then the arms get a little blast on the shoulder. So that turns to the pain blue. I don't know. It's a little bit dry. Maybe that's it dry. There we go. There we go. There we go. Okay. It looks like that might be the only blue. Just a little bit on our side there. Yeah. Mainly on the sides of the legs. Right here. Try not to let that spider. Oh, big spider. Yikes. Oh, you know why? Because I don't have any more paint in there. Let's make some more. I'm going to chit chat while you guys watch the next part. Okay. Is everybody, is this interesting to people? We have, I have zero viewers. What happened? Is anybody, is anybody there? Uh-oh. You're here? Okay. It's showing me on my stream. Oh, my God. Okay, let me see if I can refresh chat here. There we go. All right. Well, I see you. Even if it's not showing up on my screen. Okay, here's some blue. And the pet, just a tiny bit of that transparent blue really made a difference. Knock, knock. Okay, I see you guys. Good. Making sure. <laughs> see, there's that little bit of blue on her, on her hip. And there should be some more right here. Okay, I want to see, is this showing up on screen? Yes, it is. Okay, it's looking beautiful. My bug fairy! This side's going to be better. Because I'm already practiced. Mm, so pretty. Arch Galaxius, hello! There we go. I would like to follow some, some of chat, but I can't find you. What's your Instagram handle, if you don't mind? My Instagram handle is Shoshi's Minis. Show she's minis. Match Fixero. Whoa, thank you for the subscribe subscription. Five months. You are awesome. Or oh, four months. Sorry, four months. But either way, that's amazing. Let me go ahead and put, look at how this turned out. I just want to show you. 
how beautiful she's becoming. She's not as green as she was, but that's okay. We, we gotta write down some hype, guys. Hypes for the, for the subscriber. First subscriber of the day. Match six or AU. There you go. Well, thank you for your subscription. What is this metal? This is, yes, this is relatively new. It's not super new. But it's been a, we've had it for a while. <gasps> Did you see that? Oh my god. She scared me. She's okay. No chipping, no damage. Okay. Now, the last, the last bit I need to do is just pearl. So let me take out the blue from my airbrush now because we just need the pearl. Mm -hmm. That's an awful scowl out there. Oh well. Drops. Looks like robot metal. It's interesting. I don't know what robot metal is, but it sounds cool. I just saw a big chunk go in there. Let's pull the needle out and see if I can wipe this off real quick. Okay. You don't think you've ever heard this track and it threw you off? Oh no. We've had it. This is our, we call it the screamy track. <laughs> this was uh, Will's first metal track. And I, I thought it was great. Oh no, I, hold on a second. I'm having trouble with my airbrush clothes. Okay. Take out the needle. Reset the, the holder here. There. Alright, now I can get it back in. There we go. Your regular, regularly scheduled program is back. A little bit more spacing. And squishing in the cup. Last bit here. Alright, I'm in a good spot now. Now I just need this plain pearl, just a tiny bit of it. Oh, there we go. And now we're going to go over the top of her chest to pearlize everything that wasn't pearlized before. Your face. Beautiful. Center of her head, blend that in. looks pretty good. I don't think I need to do any more. This is the underside of her dress to fill a little bit. Beautiful. She's just 
definitely an alien beauty. Okay. Right there. Right there. Pretty happy with how quickly the metal fell through the airbrush. So, I thought I was going to be working on her two strings. I think it's still going to work out to be two strings. So, so far, it's working as planned. Um, let's take a look. Alright. We can probably start adding her... Where's my mud, though? One, two, three, four. Yeah, there we go. There's the mud. Um... I'm going to go ahead and bring that in right now and we'll see what happens. You know, I'm going to use fresh glue because that glue is a little bit old and I think fresh glue might stick better or quicker. looking great. Thank you. I know they're so beautiful. And I wish I could take credit for the whole paint job. Obviously I can't. Saz and Lee. This is his box art that I'm trying to deconstruct and reconstruct. Right? Let's throw that in there. Can you imagine a Space Marine army with colors like this? It'd be dazzling. Well, you know what? You could do a Eldar army like this. That would be very Eldar, don't you think? Maybe, maybe a uh, Thousand Suns potentially. Alpha Legion, yeah. I notice I've got a little pin already set, so that's already ready to go. Let's try for it. Uh oh, we're gonna take her off. There we go. It's a little crisp, a little crisp bossy. Oops! No! She's diving off of my hand! <laughs> Silly fairy. Trying to fly away. I know she doesn't even have her wings on yet. That's probably too much. A little too much super glue. We'll see. Yep, it is. A little bit. Bit of a, a knee up. You really do have a, a bug love going? I do, I really do. I do, I do. Unfortunately, the bugs are already starting to leave um, Illinois, where I'm at. Love her. I wasn't sure if people were going to want to see this painted or not. You know, I never know. There we go. 
Okay, now she's a fully assembled one. And she does have a good gap here, which I may have to go in and fix. I may just leave it. We'll see. Oh, no! Yeah, I thought the bastard curing. Wait, let's just hold it. Woo! <laughs> You do? I'm glad you do. That's awesome. We have a lot to do yet on her. So cute. We're gonna let that sit and cure while we do that. I'm gonna go over to put this on as well. This goes on her head. It's just transparent. It's so pretty though, isn't it? Hmm. Okay, what am I doing? You were looking at the stuff the other day, the chibi bug stuff is so nice. I agree. On the edges of this. Make sure it sticks. I wish I could have I know it's expensive. I don't usually buy kits like this and our staff, wow, thank you so much for subscribing for 10 months. There's a, there's a subscriber right there. Our staff, did you, did you get the, um, the giveaway that I sent you? I think you, I think it was a while back though. Okay, look at that. So, you're so lovely. Do I, ha I don't have any of that, okay. Now. I am going to paint this and this vase. I just want to show you how she's gonna how she's gonna be sitting up on her little thing here. Isn't that so cool? It's, it's supposed to be a little bit more moved over there. Maybe I'll have to get a hair dryer and and move it so she's actually sitting in. Her hair is not quite yet bleached. Okay, I'm gonna take her off. Okay. This would be a good time to like put some spring clips on her. Now, where is my? I'm gonna make a, a magenta with my transparent red and a little transparent purple. I think is magenta. Get it's uh yeah notice get to notice exclamation point notice get to all right a little bit of purple a little bit of red to make a beautiful magenta Okay. We'll start with the toes. And then it kind of just waters up. It waters up like this. See how almost like a watercolor. Lovely, huh? What just happened? My, Mr. Human! We got, aw, uh, I got an emote. Thank you, Mr. Human. I got the K-pop heart. Aw. Mr. Human, you have a... Thank you so much for subscribing. You got toes. Keep working it, or so it won't get that watercolor. It'll tea stain on me if I don't 
continue to pull it down a little bit. I didn't write down your name, Mr. Kimi. You added details to the model and it works so well. Yay, I'm so glad. Good. Fourteen months in a row. How about you want to go back to my example again? We gotta do the kneecaps with a little bit of this. You know what I really probably should use is some um, W Clinson gouache, but I don't know where it is. Is this it? No, that's definitely gouache. Okay, I am gonna try where'd it go? This is it? Yep, sanguine this is green stuff world. It dries a little on the glossy side. I'm gonna add a little bit to there we go. let's try that and see if that helps I think I'm, I think I'm done with this and I'm not sure Going to the kneecaps. I mean, I thought to do like a gosh, so it settles into the crevices a little bit. And a little bit with all of these. Little. I'll tell you what the secret to this is the secret is this red. This, this is what's making her feel like she's more alive. Starting to look like it's starting to look like sands uh, sauces work a little bit. I just I reactivate it just to get the harsh lines out. And that's needs to be soft. And then there's just a little bit over here. But again, this is soft. So let's take it back out. There we go. Okay. Tiny. Not really there, but she does have some back here behind the ears. mixes with your eye with the blue to make it kind of a purpley color which is perfect all right are we ready to see some geckos here in a minute let me see some emotes if we're ready to see some geckos I cannot, I can see now that her, her face is actually a okay. Paragon, thank you so much for subscribing. How are you? Let me put her down. Three months, I really do appreciate it. You're so awesome. Hypes, yes, hypes. Go down here. Is that a little bit of 
Oh. Oh no, can you see that? Can you see that tea stain? No, it can, luckily it reactivates pretty nice. That's lucky for us. Gomezara! Is it Gomez Gomezara? There you go, I said it sorta of right. <laughs> cat stretch, time for cat stretch. Okay, hold on. I wanna do one more thing before we go any further. I'm gonna do the eyes. And look at them. So that, and then I need to put some right here too. I need to put actually what is boring, maybe. Okay, that's kind of purple. Hmm, okay. There's some little eyes in here. Let's see if you know. Yep, there's the eyes right there, and they're clear. So whatever comes through is what well, comes through. So I'm gonna need the yellow. Hm. We'll do a cat stretch in one second. I promise. We're kind of in a zone. Maybe I don't want to use a transparent. Maybe I want to use an ink. I probably need to use an acrylic ink. Yeah. Notice I'm painting the back. When I put those eyes in, you'll see why. So I'm just going to do this magenta thing. So that one eye looks a little bit more orange. Okay, time for cat stretch. Time to take the mask off too, because I think we're done airbrushing for this for this time. Alright, forgive my crazy face. Ooh. She's lighter than Saz and Lee's, but not by a lot. She's not as green, but she's still really pretty. Hmm. Her, so mine is, I need to do something with like more of a, a face. Her face needs to be, I'm gonna try some white on this. It almost got too pearly, a little bit too pearly. crazy face you thought it was an imposter <laughs> okay I'm gonna take some of white I'm hoping this works 
Aw. I got an emote from Araman subscription. Thank you, Araman, for the K-pop TT. Here we go. I'm starting to get some of these. Let me write Aramonks down before I... Oh, man. Hold on. I can't... Hold on. Hold on. Yeah, that white. I needed it. It was a little bit too pearly. Technically, it probably should be airbrushed, but I think it'll be okay. Yeah, that white's fantastic. Okay, hold on, hold on. Let's write... Write down our monks. We lost our music, so we need more music back. Hold on. This mouse will not work on anything except for that one little piece of part of the table. Our monks. Thank you for your subscription four months on a three month streak. I do really do really appreciate it. I have been in the zone. I <laughs> It's because of the speed at which I'm painting her is that I've got to stay in the zone in order to keep up with my brain. I hope that makes sense. Feather this white out so that it's not, doesn't have a harsh line on her face. There we go. Very cool. Oh, look at that. So crazy how awesome it looks. Okay, let's do a little bit of detailing. That looks cool. That looks kind of like alien. Oh, okay. Last little bit is on her chin. Feather that out. This side is hard to paint because I can't see it as well. Look at that. 
so gorgeous. That is crazy how much a difference just that little bit of white made. Whoops. Okay. She really feels like a, like a living thing now, doesn't she? I want to do something with her eyes. Let me try this. Let me try a little white and transparent yellow. I feel like her eyes are just a little bit too creepy right now. There we go. Yeah, it needed that to be a little bit more opaque. Oh, love it. A little bit, and I'm going to give her a little bit more here in the middle where it's like almost like a highlight. Love it. She's like a little baby in my hand. Beautiful miniature, amazing paint job. She, she, she feels very delicate right now. She does. And she definitely has a lot. I want to put a little bit of this magenta in here in her collarbone. Just a little bit. Did I get this? I didn't get this side. Ugh. On this, I gotta get the fingers. A bit of purple, a little bit of red. You know what I'm gonna do? Because Sazen, he gloss coated everything. I'm gonna use a little gloss finish to maybe help keep my paint from um, tea staining. I don't know if it'll work. We'll try it. Need a little bit more red in there. Let's see if this makes a difference with the tea staining. That's bright. I think it will. Because I have a feeling he used probably something like Tamiya. I bet. Yeah, that's better. I ho let's hope it dries nice. Much better. I think it's going to work. Right, let's get on this hand, see if that works with this hand. Yeah. Yeah, that's going to be a million times better. Okay, so then there's a little bit here. Yeah, that's the that's the gloss. What do you think this is this mini's day job? Probably um, maybe something to do with flowers. Pollination pollination coordinator. Wish make maybe she fulfills wishes. She talks to the bugs for sure.
trying to get my the gloss medium does dilute the intensity a little bit not too bad though all right where was the other it was this side yeah Now I'm going to take some of my white and a little bit of the shimmer and see if I can't clean some of this up a little bit where it got a little crazy. It seems to work. And I'm going to take a little bit of this gloss on her lips. Oh, so pretty. I like it light like that. Okay. She feels like a bug fairy. The gloss worked. So note that in your notebooks. <laughs> Chilling out, dipping toes in water, and pondering life. Ah. Okay. Yeah, exactly. I, I think that's a good that's a good theory. <sighs> hmm. Wanna I wanna do more. I don't want to do more airbrushing because we're getting close. We'll do more airbrushing. Uh, so for her for this color on hers. Um. Hold on. Let me find the right color. I think it's this one. So I have light flesh that I can use on this, but I, I think I have a better color. It's called neutral. If I can find it. It is like a, yeah, yeah there it is. I found it. It's like a, it's called neutral primer and it's literally like just kind of a neutral color. I, I'm thinking about just, um, uh, brushing it on with a brush. Let's see what happens when I brush it on. It's the right color. Yeah, I'm just going to brush it on because that's very fast. That's perfect. I mean, gonna, it's going to be the base color for this wood. I might need a it's a good thing it's a primer it'll cover up yep it's gonna cover up a lot of stuff and I'm, I'm spreading it pretty thin which is fine because that primer underneath it can act like a, uh, a base coat as well I have a nice big brush. Are you guys noticing that? Don't try to paint something big with a tiny brush. You will be there doing it forever. That's the other trick for garage kits is use big brushes, right? Because they're much bigger. Big old brush, exactly. And if this needs another coat, we can always give it another coat. Although it's looking pretty damn good. I don't know if it's going to need another coat. Let's see what happens when we... Yeah, that just covers. Because it's a primer. Looking, 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 looking for the bare spots. There we go. Look, 
it's, I think it's um, taking me a lot less time with the brush for this than if I were to airbrush it. But if I weren't doing this on stream, I, I probably would have airbrushed it, to be fair. It already looks like a little piece of driftwood, doesn't it? I think that's the trick. Hi, Pharaoh Roche. Oh my god, I love your name. Pharaoh Lush Roche. Just like the chocolate, but with a, an Egyptian twist. All right. Now, can you see these little holes in the sides? Right here and right here. There's little mushrooms that go in those that I'm going to be painting as, as well. I'm just looking at all the sides here. Let's do this. Need something like that soon. Are the shrooms clear resin? Yes, they are. And I'm planning on using the transparents to paint them. Don't you think that's a good idea? Especially with how the eyes are starting to look. Okay, I'm just finding all of the little bare spots that I missed. Let that dry. Rinse my brush. You have your mushrooms? Aw. Oh. <laughs> Speaking of mushrooms, I want to show you guys something that I found in my garden recently. Have you guys ever heard of bird nest mushrooms? I I don't have... Shoot, do I have a picture? I do. You can see this is the beginning of one opening. Bird, Go look up on, on Google bird nest mushrooms. They're really cool. So as a, wa a drop of rain will hit those and they pop open and they leave little clusters of like spores that spread into your garden you could do with some more colors for primer yeah I, I do think that badger makes a lot of primers all right so that's looking very nice see now when she sits on that it's gonna look really cool because she's she's gonna be this beautiful beautiful thing and then I believe the last time I just used Seraphim Sepia to color it. Where's the Seraphim Sepia? Hmm. Is this it? Reichland Flesh Shave. Here it is. Give it a good shake. I'm going to turn on my hair, hair dryer. I'm going to finish blow drying this so that it is, um, is ready. We can prime it. So give me a second. I will mute. There we go. Mute. Okay, take a look at that. It really does look like a piece of wood, doesn't it? Now just wait till we get the most important part put on here. The seraphim sepia. Even though it says airbrush, you 
could still use a brush to apply it. Yeah, absolutely. It's just paint. It's just a special kind of paint that has, um, it will stick, right? Oh, you know what? I'm just noticing there is some green on this driftwood. I need to find an early picture. Bear with me while I'm looking through this. Oh, no. All right, hold on. I got to look up Saz and Lee's Bug Fairy on the line. Because I need to be able to see the whole bottom of it. <sighs> it's showing me all the bugs. <laughs> Let's try Twitter. There we go. There he is. So Sazenly is on Twitter. You can follow him on Twitter and Instagram. And I think he has a Facebook as well. Although it's really hard to reach him directly. Oh, there we go. Okay, okay. Oops, I messed it up. All right, it does look like there's some blue. Hmm. I'm just gonna put the, it looks like there's yellow. He didn't use a sepia. I need to look at the other pictures real quick. Nope, that's a yellow. That's interesting. Well, that changes things. Let's try that. We're gonna use the transparent yellow and see if I can duplicate what he's done. I'm, I'm a little dubious. Take some of this. You wonder if adding a small drop of ink. You know what? I'm going to add the um, gloss medium. That's what did it for me. The gloss. wonder if adding a small drop of ink to some flow aid to mix with a gray and white primer to tint it. Try it. You can't hurt, right? There we go. That's beautiful. Beautiful. That. So I'm just adding that gloss to keep it from moving too much. We can always add a matte finish after the fact. Where's my gloss? You know what? Yeah, no, I need the I need the gloss. I had an idea for a second to add anti-shine, but that just would make, make it satin. So we're just going to attempt to make a gloss thing here. True experimentation is part of the hobby. Yes, it is. That's how we learn stuff. And it's more important even to uh, share what you learn. So yellow is in the crevices of this wood. I like that. So we've made a transparent gloss paint, effectively. It's so pretty. Let me make this darker. Did I lose my music again? Nope, there it comes. Good. Waste more paint that way, but in the end it's worth it. I agree. I agree. It is worth it. 
what's the point if you're just you know what's the point it's more fun to experiment more more you feel more you do feel more sense of a self-accomplishment when uh when you invent something even though it's you're not technically really inventing it but when you feel like you invented it because you're you experimented and you learned it on your own okay that's looking really nice you know what's weird is that that yellow makes this look it looks it's just an alien scene it's just alien all right i need more gloss medium gloss varnish and then some yellow okay in here Now what's my hope is that the gloss is gonna gonna hold uh, the transparent and keep it from tea staining because that's what was happening when I was just putting it on with water and feathering it out. It was tea staining on me real bad. Get in there. Okay, that seems, and it's drying a little lighter, which is really nice. That's nice. You we all love an eureka moment. A eureka moment, definitely. Invented several ways of wasting paint. <laughs> I love it. Good, I'm glad that you're doing that. See, I just found a little spot here. There we go. I just mixed a little bit of that primer in with that yellow. Okay, that's really cool looking. Let's see how that looks like on the base. One of the things I love about this model is it comes already ready to go on a base. How many models do you know that do that usually you gotta buy your own base all right that looks cool as hell should we get those mushrooms out? Where are those? They're in here. There's several. Um, Mike, there should be some scissors over my other... No, maybe I have a... Never mind, I have an exacto. I have it. Okay. There we go. I'm gonna put these in the box so I don't lose them. There's... Four. There's four mushrooms. Okay, now I have to look at the box art again, see where they go. There's a couple of different ones. This big one goes. It's tricky. Nope. <laughs> I think it's opposite way. There we go. Oh, yeah. Hmm. Oh, that's funny. It's going to be just a um, trick. I don't know. I do think that goes there. So it doesn't go that way though. It's supposed to go more straight up. What am I gonna do? Let's go back. Maybe 
it fits perfect let me try turning it this way nope ah technically it should kind of be like this oh you know what maybe it just goes like that yeah it just sets in there let me try one of the others oh my keyboard Ah, here's this one. This one's bigger. <laughs> Wait, I might have to do these off stream because I want to get these right. I don't want to just guess. What about these little ones? Ooh. Nope. That one goes on this side, I think. Everything fits in that one hole, but they don't all go in that. Yeah, they need to be clipped. I'm not going to mess with the, the mushrooms. I'm too scared. I will put the eyes in, though. Yeah, exactly. With warm water. Yeah, I was thinking about that, Rumble. I think that might need to be bent. Let's take these eyes out. And they are clear plastic, it looks like. And what happens when I put those over our existing... Oh, that's pretty. It's, it's not quite how I need it. So we need to paint the backs of this. And I'm going to use the gloss again. The gloss... Put that on there. And then the yellow... So that this is this is my trick on how I did the mantis eyes. I painted the back with a clear color. See what happens? They kind of refract. I only painted one side. Now let's do the sepia in the corner. Maybe sepia and gloss instead. I don't think the sepia is dark enough. I need I need like an ink. Let's do this one. Let's do flesh wash ink. Old school flesh wash. Oh yeah, that's super dark. Alright. I need a smaller brush. And more gloss medium. And I just want to paint the inside of those eyes to have that darker stain. Mm -mm. See how that refracts a little bit? That may be too much. Let's take that off. Yeah, that's better. Now I lost some of my yellow though. All right, I'm going to blow dry this. Hopefully we'll get our color. I'm going to blow dry this. Six out of 20 Necrons. That's awesome. Okay, I'm going to mute. Give me one second here. Okay, I got it muted. I got it done. So there we go. We've got our 
yellow and she's already got let me do this Just put that brown in there aha that's what I needed just that dark stain Gorgeous. Now, retrofit here. Here we go. Oh, yeah. Look at how that's going to look. Okay, I'm going to clip this. One. A little super glue. Is this a new one? Yep. There's a little paint on the on the lens and I'm noticing look at this where I cut it I might have to put a little bit of gloss on that to get that to shine again all right we're gonna just pray do a prayer circle oh, look so gorgeous. And then another clear clear eye, clear bug eye. Oh, breaking it off didn't work. Let's try tripping, clip, clipping it. There. Oh, that's so much better. It's so much cleaner. I should have clipped it. Anyone who wants to learn from my mistakes is a welcome. I love it! Look at that. Beautiful eyes. I love it. That changed everything on her, didn't it? I still have to do this back of this head. Let's put her on this. Okay, hold on. Let me show it to you. She's so cute. Oh my god. Wait till we get her, um, her wings are on her head. She's so beautiful. What do you think? Those eyes, they made all the difference, didn't they? Okay, there's a part of me that still wants to put a little bit of sepia in some, oh, there's, I know what's missing. You love it? I know, those eyes are perfect. Okay. Hold on, I'm going to do a little sepia wash. After all, and see more than a dice podcast. Hello, how are you? Oops, is that gonna... Ooh, that's really dark. A bit too much. There we go. Oh, yeah. How are you, More Than the Dice Podcast? Welcome, everybody. We're painting the Bug Fairy from Sazen Lee. And it's just the most gorgeous garage kit model that I've ever seen. That's a lot of sepia. Hold on a second. I'm sorry, I'm kind of in a zone. I don't want to ignore you guys. But I got into a zone right before you got here. There we go. It's intense. There, that's better. We'll just let that dry. I want to show you guys. This is what we've been working on today. This is the bug fairy. Not done with her. But she goes, she sits upon this, um, there we go. And she's got some wings. We need to add a little bit 
more green to her, I think. Just skosh more green. What happens if I add a little bit of green? Maybe that's too much. Maybe just a thin glaze of it. I don't, I don't hate that. Trader Legions, hello. It's your secret identity. Oh, cool. <laughs> nice. More than dice, a podcast. There we go. Can anyone ever have too much green? <laughs> I just, I'm bugging. So the, it's funny, a little bit of white that's on her face. I need to go back to it. There, that's so beautiful. Maybe a little bit of gloss medium, possibly? Yes. Thank you very much. That worked really well. Don't put that matte paint on me, she says. She is glossy. In her eyes. Yeah, it's so much better. Okay, I'm gonna let that dry. Let's go back to our our thing here. <laughs> I for I always forget that Kathy is behind a lot more than dice. I love you, Kathy. You're so cool. Did you have a good did you have a good stream? Did you paint anything cool? Kathy is um Kathy Wapple is a very good painter. And always in a creative, like if you want, if you want creative choices, she, she, I love, she does detail work too, like plaid, plaid on things that I love. Okay, that looks, look at that. Love it. I like that better than just the plain yellow. Oops, since I can't seem to dip deep enough. Are you getting ready for this? I guess we're having a cold snap, Kathy. You're probably going to feel it more than me because I'm further south. There we go. Alright, sorry. I really am sorry. I've been in such a zone with this since we got going on this it's amazing. That feels more that feels more like wood, doesn't it? Amazing. Oh, on this side. Alright, that, that feels more like a driftwood, doesn't it? And there was some greens and stuff on this, though, that we have to do. Alright, you have a... G it's a big reason why you're no longer rubbish. Wait, I missed... I mi my glasses are so foggy. Hold on, let me read chat. Her eyes, her yellow eyes look amazing. I know, because we painted the backs of the plastic and it let the light shine through so it they've just they just glow and look amazing and there's the, all this yellow in the base now i feel like there needs to be more green 
we'll just work with it. We'll work with that. The booty formerly known as rubbish. I love it. Okay. I'm gonna feather some green onto that. Oh, I like it. I need to go look at my reference because it's subtle. Actually, is there a green? Do I have a green? This Astonian shade might be better. It's a little bit more yellow green. Hmm. Oh, yes. It's not. Well, we have to. There we go. It's not quite. It did something. We're going to add a little bit of transparent green to this Athonian green to make it more green green. I guess. Yeah. It's like watercolor. There we go. Boom, boom, boom. I got it. That was it. Let's see. You know, and if we don't like it, we can always airbrush back over it with that badger airbrush stuff. A little bit of... <sighs> there we go. A little bit of gloss, because I feel like it needs it. Otherwise, it starts to spread and tea stain a little bit. I think I'm losing my energy. We're probably getting toward the ends of the stream. I might have to go and raid somebody else. I need a brush, a big brush. Let's do the smoosh brush. There we go, there we go. That's tinting it better. Yeah. And there's some purple in here. I didn't see that. There's a tiny bit of purple in back in here. Oh, that's what makes the sepia. When you mix yellow and purple, you get, you get sepia. That's pretty. Well, we'll have to keep doing that then. It's funny how your brain will break things down, right? Mm, that looks pretty. That yellow and purple mixed together is really rich and beautiful. Okay. Put more purple in there. But that little bit of green didn't make a big difference. Let's do a little bit more. I need like a 360 on this. There we go. Smoosh it in. Sort of. Sort of smoosh it in. I really need some more cruddy brushes. I need a collect I need a collection of crap brushes. There we go. Okay. Okay. Um I'm gonna use a little bit more of my neutral to get a dry brush over the top. 
kind of. Uh, overbrush. We'll, we'll call it overbrush. There we go. This thing's got a little messy. Ooh, that's lovely. And I'm going to add a little bit of white to it. This, uh, ooh, yas. Feel weathered. A little bit more white. Maybe I should have added ivory instead. Oops. Now it's really feeling like wood though, gosh. All right. I am pooped, guys, so I think it is the end of my stream. You're going to go eat pizza. Okay. Thanks so much, Kathy. Thank you for the raid. I think I'm going to go eat some closure. Yeah, definitely close that pot. I did. Did I? Did there we go. Close both of them. All right. So let's do a face here. Can you see I'm tired? You can see the marks on my face from my mask. All right. Let's go ahead and do our end. We're going to look for somebody to raid. You guys are amazing. We will be back on Monday. I believe we're going to continue... We're going to continue painting, painting the Bug Fairy. Okay? So we'll just be finishing her up. Meanwhile, we'll look for somebody to raid. Here we go. Alright, we're going to raid go Studio J, guys join that raid and I will see you again on Monday there we go bye guys